What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp, and this is Sparky himself. Right. Here for another plate testing video. Mm -hmm. We've been, we've been good getting right along with these plate testing videos. This is the RTS Level 3. 3A+. Plus. 3A+. Plus, mm -hmm. AR600. BC. BC plate. Some high quality, expensive stuff. Yeah, so. Uh, Only the best. Only the best. So we're going to be testing these plates. We're going to be talking about the specs on them, what you can expect from them. But before we do, you should go check out Basement Arm. Golly. You're only even, wearing this shirt. I don't even know my own apparel line's name. Basement Operator Company. Uh, it is our apparel line. So we do two different apparel lines, more of a tactical range stuff and more of a leisure stuff. If you want to check that stuff out, Make sure to head on over to the description. It's be a top link, or it's just basementoperator.com. Um, comfy stuff. We've bought everything that we have. Yeah, look, even got an American flag because America. And uh, we're going to be doing a 4th of July launch. So make sure to check us out. Hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with us. And uh, you, you won't be disappointed if you go. At least you'll look good. At least you'll look good. And uh, all, of our, all of our shirts come with... Uh, stat boost so you mm -hmm. you gain accuracy you gain larping capabilities you know all that great stuff you get more excuses too yeah without further ado let's let's talk about the plates um these are both rts tactical and full disclosure rts did send these out this is um well here's their sleek 2.0 plate carrier and um we're gonna be shooting these so we have 308 winchester m80 we have over probably off screen we have a stag set up on a tripod with some 5.56 we're gonna shoot with nine millimeter we're gonna be shooting it out of this uh la police gear plate carrier so big shout out to la police gear they sent this plate carrier out just to, for us to do tests on so uh go check them out link in the description take us on outdoors.com forward slash links and there you can find la police gear in the link without further ado specs real quick like we had said three level three plus so it should be able to handle the uh 308 pretty good it's a nice curved plate as you can tell Got one big curve. One big curve, right there she goes. Mm -hmm. um, should be able to take a good bit of abuse. It has the build up on it, so. It's 10 by 12. And it's 10 by 12, so it should contain the um, spalling? Spalling, do we determine? Sprawling. Sprawling? Sprawling. Sprawling. I, I'm illiterate. If you go watch the other videos I've done, I've called it everything under the sun, except for what it really is. And these things run, what'd you say, about 260 bucks? Just for the plate. Just for a pair of plates, 260 bucks, which is kind of on par with other companies like AR500 that yeah. do about $100 a plate. Um, and then if you want to add the build up, it is bucks. a little bit more pricey. So it's another 100 bucks. So you're sitting at about 369 369 for yes. two plates. And they do are curved. They do have the cuts on them. So they're just not like a square plate. They're not, I wouldn't say this is like a swimmer's cut. No, swimmer's cuts, I believe, I believe it's narrower. Yeah, yours, your swimmer cuts are pretty... A little lower. A little lower. So, um, but overall, pretty nice plate. Um, weighs just about as much as the AR500 mm -hmm. plate is. This is AR5 or AR600. So we're going to throw her in this LA Police Gear plate carrier, and we're going to go set her up on a door and hang her off, and we're going to start shooting it. So let's get right down there to it, and you can see how we set it up. What are you doing? No, it's just going to hold on to the light. So? I'm not trying to mess it up. Why would you mess it up? Well, the recoil is going to just pull on the light. I don't want to do that. That's a poke with a pistola. Yo, Sparky's going to shoot it with some uh, 9 millimeter to begin with. And then we're going to go to the 223 and 308. And if you're looking for ammunition, you might want to go check out Kerr Ammo. They're a big supporter of the channel. They uh, supply our ammo. Um, code DELP10 saves you uh, $10 off your first order. So their link is in my description through my link. So take someoneoutdoors.com forward slash links and then click Kerr's button, pick out something you like, whether it be hunting ammo, plinking Plink ammo, ammo, anything, Kerr's got it covered. And then use code DELP10 to save you $10 on your first order. Sparky, without further ado, let's hit the GoPro. Yeah, buddy. Say no more. Scary, man. Did it hit? I don't know. Shoot it again. I saw something twitch. Let's go check it out. Oh no, it hit the carrier. Hit high if you're in here. Name it too high. Oh, for the take take two. We missed it. Simple minds, man. We can't have nothing in this world. We can't have a good shooter partner. I mean, you just hey, man. gotta get close. Oh, man, uh, can't hey, shoot. These things are expensive. Well, I'm just saying. Expensive? You didn't pay for All right. 
but they're not expensive. I'm more worried about the ricochet at three yards away, which we aren't three yards away. Oh, caught, even, caught the edge of it. It caught the edge of it. Shot the, shot the carrier again. There's that good old uh, build up. Build up. Coming right off. Coming right off. Let's take it out. Take it out. Yeah, buddy. But, you know, we had talked about it before. You know, it, plate carrier contained most of it and shot the other part of it out on the, on the side. So Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any of the spalling, whatever, coming straight up. It's all going to the side. Now, granted, that's because it's on a curve. Yeah. It's so. going to hit the edge of it. But it's holding together. The hold, coating's holding together. Yeah, so the AR-500 coating just split right in half. Yeah, I say we uh, give her a go with the 223. I didn't really expect much of the 9 millimeter. Yeah. Now, when we shot the AR-500 with 223, it barely left the mark on it. That's true. That's true. Barely left the mark. Barely left the mark. All right, let's give her a go. I'm going to hit it right there because I know how to shoot. All right, so we have the stag, the good old trusty stag, and uh, we're going to ring some steel here. We have a 5, 55 grain. Was it M193 is the yeah. base civilian stuff? Run of the mill PPU. Hold on, we'll give it one more. Mm. All right, split the plate carrier wide open. I'm gonna step back a little bit for the 308. 308. Threw high hopes for it. Good day. But I'm impressed on the coating. That it's coating not good that's not you know cracking and I mean it's but also you look how none of it's coming up. That's true. None of it is coming up. Now so granted, when we shot the AR five hundred, it was leaning against the tree. Yeah. And it was laying like that. So the bullet's gonna hit and come up. True. And this is wearing flat, so it's gonna hit and go right back. But a lot of abuse. So this is what I say we do. I say we back up. 308 low high? No, no, no. Back up. Finish the rest of the 223. I got 30 rounds. We oh, just okay. finish the rest of the 223. Just just... Actually, we'll do that last. Now go ahead and tear up 223 on this side and 308 on the back. Okay, fair. We'll tear it up with the 223. We're going to step back a little bit, though. We're at 25 right there for that test. We're going to step it to 50 and just... Hey, you're going past your 50-yard zero. Nah, this is the 50-yard zero, you simple mind. All right, so we're going to do the rest of this. There is, I'm going to shoot it until it falls out of the plate carrier. I thought you were shooting 308. Oh, that's right. Sparky's going to shoot it until he fall, it falls out of the plate carrier. Go easy on my GoPro, though. <laughs> Got to put the magazine in there. Simple mind. Take her out of the plate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! There it went. Can you see her anymore? She's gone. No, she's laying down. Man, just cleaned her out. All right, let's go take a look at it. Now, on the one hand, there is no penetration. You know? Oh, the plate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the plate. Um, we're starting to see where the uh, the buildup is separating. Correct. So, but, golly, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14? 15. 15 right there? Yeah. 15? It took quite a few. And uh, she's still going. And there's no back face deformation at all. No, that, I didn't expect it with 223. No. So... Plate carrier. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I will not be able to use this on the next video. No, but you know, it's a it's, it's extremely breathable at the moment. It is. It, it's well, good for summertime. Not really. Got to put one right through there. But we're gonna flip it around and uh, we're gonna shoot the other plate. So uh, stay tuned for the 308. So uh, as previously mentioned, M80. We're here at 50 yards. Uh, most of this stuff's rated for a lot closer. I think it's like 10 yards. Something like that. Some ridiculous number. We don't want to get hit with spall or sprawl or words. 
So um, bullets, rather. Yeah, we don't want to get hit with some ricochets, but the GoPro can. So we're going to give her a go. Oof. You want to go check that one where it's center? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Let's boy, see I love one. shooting things. Well, <sighs> you're alive. You are very much alive. I don't think we need to take her out. Is there any bulge? No, there's no bulge back there. You hit it right on the crease of that, uh, the curve. Yeah, I did. I mean, that's a good hit. Yeah. That's a impactful hit. You notice anything up here? Not yet. Not yet. So, I mean, it sent it all out. It did what it's supposed to. You could see it absorb some of it. So, yeah, it ate up some of the fragments. Ate up some of the fragments. So I, it obviously works. Now we're going to see what kind of abuse it can take. We're going to shoot it until it falls out of plate carrier, like we did the other one. We're going to keep shooting her. Let her eat till she can't no more. That's right. Let's get her. Get her going. Oof. She's out. <laughs> I shot it in, in the back it, it of the plane. It was over. I shot it in the back of the plane. <laughs> There's a little bit right there. There's some. There's some chunks. There's some chunks. But you know, <laughs> there's none here up around the face, and that might be right here in the woods. Well, yeah, but you know what that might be from when I shot it. It and was laying down. Now, there it is poking. Well, it's not from being in the plate. That's from that oh, shooting I... spall catching. That's copper. Piece of copper stuck right yep, there. Yeah, piece of copper stuck right there. There's a little bit of back place, back face deformation. Oh, yeah. A little bit. A little not bit of bulge. Much. A little bit of bulge. How many did she take? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven. Plus that one. Plus the back one, which don't really count. But so I mean, she can see, she can keep going. I'm impressed. This coating held up a lot much better than, better than the AR500. Yeah. So it's it's a lot less rigid than the AR500 coating. Yeah. AR500 coating was a lot more brittle. So I mean, Sweet. these plates took some serious abuse. A lot more than a ceramic plate could have taken. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, ceramic would have failed. Oh, it's like second one. Yeah, so I'm pretty impressed by it. It it makes me feel better because I mean, going back to the carrier and where you can see the fragments, there's no fragments up top in your face. In your face, which is maybe that has to do with the curve in it. So you talked about these being very uh, curvy. Curvy. Well, you just got one big curve. One big curve, maybe. By design. Well, you know? Also, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that the angle you're just sitting at, they're sitting flat. Yeah. Instead of like this. Well, yeah. But I mean, when you're wearing it, you're going to be wearing it flat. So. To a degree. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. But, but when we did the last one, they were, their plates were sitting at an angle. That's true. But one thing to be said, if you're just sitting here taking them, I mean, if they can get 15 on you. You're doing good. You're doing good. And that's assuming whoever's shooting you is a good shot. Yeah, well, I mean, these are very, you know, right there shots. Poor old plate carrier, though. We want to want to give a little holy, little holy, little holy. She's breathable. Yeah, she's breathable. That see, this back got destroyed when I shot it in the or in the back of oh, it. Oh yeah. It just all that all the fragments just you see tore where it up. just went up and into that. Yeah. So big shout out to LA Police Gear for sending us the carrier to let us destroy, and uh, we appreciate them. And also a big thank you to RTS Tactical for letting us test their or their plates. I mean, obviously you can see it works. It works really good. I was very impressed. Um, outperformed the AR500 and outperformed right. ceramics too. Yeah. And maybe I need to make sure every time I test some plates, they need to be in a carrier. Yeah, and it's and fun to shoot the same carrier. angle. <laughs> and they're sitting at the same angle. Yeah. We're going to use that door from now on. That's right. Yeah. Probably, and you know, if you notice, this is, pretty accurate shooting here uh probably because i'm wearing the uh basement operator company t-shirt that's right know? but you know this is the 308 that's oh. the 223 you oh. weren't shooting the 223 oh that's right maybe that's 
Maybe it's because you had the American flag on your That's back. right, America. Yeah, so make sure to check out Basement Operator Company, basementoperator.com. First top link in the description. Pick up some cool stuff. Supports me, helps us out, lets us do some more crazy videos. So uh, we want to thank RTS Tactical once again for sending the plates out for us to test. It means a whole lot to us, and uh, we really enjoy putting on these tests. Let you guys know how they perform and what to expect from them, because, you know, with with your life on the line, it's important to know how stuff and like you, this. And you want to know where you want to spend your money. Yeah, and you want to know, what, like, a $400 for the build-up and everything, that's a big purchase. Oh, yeah. It's not something to take lightly. Exactly. So uh, it's important to know how this stuff performs. So we really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next one. As always, take someone outdoors. Peace. You got to love science. Mm. Where's my lab coat when I need it? We do need a lab coat. We need to be ripping off Grand Thumb, but we do need a lab coat.